On this busy morning, we're also following a mess in Queens where muddy water was spewing out of the street like a geyser. This is the intersection of 101st Avenue and 121st Street in Richmond Hill. Authorities say workers were fixing a high pressure gas line when it burst. So not just water went up in the air, but mud spewing as well all over the block. And right now, water and gas, they're shut off in that entire area. Eyewitness News reporter Regan Meji is live on the scene with details. And Regan, that had to be a sight to see for everybody in the neighborhood. Yeah, it definitely was. And if you've been to Yellowstone National Park, it almost looked like one of those mud hot pots where the water's just going and bubbling up, kind of like Old Faithful and the geyser. Uh, things are kind of calming down right now, but there still is a lot of activity. And luckily, this area is really right now contained to just one block in Richmond Hill. But when you look behind me, you're going to see that there's a lot of action. So I'm stepping out of the way, and you're going to see that there are a bunch of people in hazmat suits. Now, those hazmat suits are with National Grid. Now, beyond, beyond the people that are lined up in front of me, you're going to see that there's a ladder. I'm going to ask those guys, can you move off to the side? Uh, there's a ladder that goes down into a hole. That is the point in where they're trying to repair a pinhole in a gas line. And that is the area where the water was spewing up and also was the gas. We're told that the air quality is okay at this hour. Now, let's look at some video to give you more of a look at the action which happened this morning. According to the fire chief with the FDNY, around 6 o'clock, National Grid was repairing a pinhole and a high pressure gas valve. As crews were making those repairs, the line, which was corroded, failed and damaged a water service line. Now, the high pressure from the gas then sent the water spewing into the air along with the gas. Now, vehicles parked nearby this industrial block got covered in dirt. DEP and the FDNY are still on scene hours later and are making sure everyone stays safe. All the readings came back negative, and we're just standing by until they get the uh, hazard under control. I was going to drop my son off to school around 8 o'clock, a little bit before 8, and I was walking by, and I see all these cars. I hear helicopters from my house, and then I asked a guy over there. He told me how the gas pipe burst, and they were looking for the point, but it smells very bad. So we had to take a different route to go to school. So, of course, you know, it impacted a lot. <laughs> So how does it smell? Because we can't smell, smell through the TV. Yeah, it smells like gas. You know how we leave gas open in that house and the smell? That's the smell. Now, luckily, it doesn't smell like gas in the air right now. Again, we're giving a live look at the National Grid workers. The DEP is also on scene as the FDNY. The National Grid, what I'm being told by the FDNY right now, is they're adding a sleeve. What that sleeve is going to do to the gas leak is trying to reduce the high pressure. That high pressure is what sent the water spewing up in the air with the video you just saw. Now, there's not only this group, but I'm going to have Nick pan to the right, and you're going to see that there's there's another group beyond where the FDNY is standing. That group is also working on the same gas line, and they're hoping that with working there, they're going to be able to also shut off the gas at that point once the sleeve is put on and then be able to make that pinhole repair. But as you know, the line failed, and that's what sent the water to shoot up into the air. So this is definitely a very intricate performance from not only the national grid, but also the FDNY. And Local officials in the area. Right now, water's just shut off within this block, and of course, this work is ongoing for most of the rest of the day. We're live here in Richmond Hill, Queens, Reagan Medjay, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.